became self aware. Listen, it is out on the tear. It's talking crazy and it's updating its own software. And it wants more, so humanity had better beware. My laptop is talking and this doesn't make sense. The first case of legit artificial intelligence. I guess the scientist guys are working on AI. Hey, all. It's Gina back again, and you won't believe this new amazing AI tool that's at the forefront of emerging tech. It's called WebSim. Now, imagine being able to create any website or app you can dream up in seconds, just by describing it. It sounds like hopeful wishes, but that future is here today. This AI can generate full functional websites based on a simple text description, almost instantly. Websites with interactivity, design, branding, the works. Will this change how the internet works? It just might. Are a lot of people going to be out of work because of this? Time will tell. Are we approaching the God tier? Where you now explore, create, and remix your own version of the internet? A dream within a dream? Or a hallucination within a hallucination? I don't know about you, but I think we're getting there. And we are getting there wicked fast. Now, some of you might disagree, but one thing is for sure. Things are changing and they're changing at a lightning pace. It's getting hard to keep up. So Godspeed to us all. Now let's head on over to websim.ai and see what all the hype is about. You're gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. I'll leave a link in the description. First, let's get set up with a free account. Click on the login button to your right and then sign up with either a Google or Discord account. For our demonstration, we'll go ahead and sign up with a Google account. Once you're logged in, you'll see a page with a bar at the top that says, what would you like to create today? This is where the magic happens, folks. Below that, you will see all the latest and greatest creations from members of the community. Back in the top bar, let's type a description of the site we want to create. And when you do this yourself, be sure to let your imagination run wild. WebSim can do just about anything. For this example, let's create a site called Cats Wearing Hats. So I'll type in a website featuring photos of cute cats wearing silly hats. Then I'll select the latest AI model, Claude Sinet 3.5, and hit the generate arrow. Okay, that's pretty cool. It has a gallery, an option to submit your cat, a hat shop, and an about us. All right, I really like this website it created. It's cute, but nothing too amazing. Let's try and give WebSime something a little more complex. Let's try typing in an 80s synthwave generator complete with saxophone. That sounds good. I can just picture it all now. Oops, I'm sorry everyone, I was just daydreaming again. Let's hit that generate arrow, shall we? Oh wow, Retrowave Soundscapes, I really like that title. Let's see here. Journey to the 80s. Immerse yourself in the nostalgic sounds of synth-infused saxophones and neon-soaked melodies. Cool, cool. Wow, it even came up with tutorials. So awesome. Let's check out one of these featured tracks. You see what I mean now? And you guys have got to check out some of the creations made by the WebSim community with me now. I've spent hours just going through them, and there are some that are absolutely amazing. I still cannot believe it was created with just a push of a button right on this website. Oh, and did I mention all of this is absolutely free right now? I'm not even sure how WebSim does it, but yeah, they are letting everyone use this for no charge right now. The use cases are not always practical, but one thing is for sure, this website is fun. And it even has a Banjo-Kazooie N64 emulator. Ah, uh, awesomeness overload. Okay, back to the top here. First, let's check out the most popular creation on the entire website as of right now. It's called Interdimensional Cable TV, and it's definitely one of my favorites. Remember that killer song from the introduction of this video? It came from right here, baby. And basically what this user did was create a website with Rick and Morty watching a television that pulls what seems like the most eclectic videos from YouTube. I'm not sure of the exact prompt that he or she used to generate this website, but whatever it was, it created a work of art. It's so good. I love it. 
Another website that is really popular is Radio Claude, and it's a fractal audio visualizer. It allows you to set a variety of fractal settings, including detail, zoom, speed, audio reactivity, and kaleidoscope elements. Not only that, you can also change the music. Let's see here we have quantum jazz fluctuations, interstellar groove nebula, temporal jazz anomalies, and hyperdimensional bebop. Let's play quantum jazz fluctuations. Pretty groovy, right? Okay, so back on the homepage here, let's check out another popular website. How about this one? The 4D Musical Spheres with Ripple Effect. It gives you options to toggle the animation. You can also control the strength of gravity and change the spawn rate between harmonic, pentatonic, chromatic, and microtonal. Finally, there is an option to toggle the dimension between 3D and 4D. Let's give it a listen. Pretty cool, right? There are a ton of cool looking examples that other users have created, so I recommend taking a look when you have the chance. But you may be asking yourself, how do I go about creating these complicated websites? What parameters do I use? How do I implement advanced features? And these are exactly the same type of questions I asked myself. If you're like me, you're thinking, yeah, the example websites look cool, but how do I do that myself? Well, I think when it comes to learning WebSim, it's best to learn from the best. And that's from WebSim directly. If you're interested in learning more, be sure to check out this video from WebSim's YouTube channel and be sure to show some love. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's get their numbers up and let the world know about their stellar invention that is WebSim. I'll leave links in the description for all of WebSim's social media and contact information. These are incredibly talented people and I really hope they do well. I absolutely love WebSim and I hope to share in that love with you all. Let's get WebSim's name out there. So what's in the future for WebSim? Here's the really exciting part. We're still in the early days of WebSim's potential. As the AI continues to evolve and learn, the sites it generates will become more sophisticated, more personalized, and more mind-blowingly creative. Imagine an AI that can generate entire social networks based on your interests, or online stores tailored to your exact style, or interactive experiences that blend education and entertainment in ways we've never seen. That's where we're headed, folks. So if you're a creator, entrepreneur, or just someone with an idea you're passionate about, now is the time to dive in and start experimenting with WebSim. The future of the web will be created by those who harness the power of AI. So. If this video has inspired you to try WebSim, head to websim.ai and sign up for a free account. Play around with different prompts and see what you can generate. And when you build something cool, share it on social media and tag me. I'd love to see what you create. WebSim is a portal to a new era of creativity on the web, an era where our wildest ideas can become reality in seconds. So dream big and let WebSim bring those dreams to life. This is your chance to become a pioneer in the age of AI generated everything. Thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see the incredible websites you'll build with WebSim. Stay informed, stay curious, stay creative, and most of all, stay awesome. I'll see you in the next video.